Hey guys, this is Coach Elise, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to look ahead at your workout so you can prepare, know what equipment you need, or just be mentally ready for the workout without actually starting your session and having it shown as you've started the session or you've logged the session without actually doing it. So this is very actually simple. So first off, whenever you see the blue start session button at the top, you know that you have not yet started your session. So really important, do not press that start session button, that blue start session button at the top, unless you are actually going to start your workout then and there. Okay. Same thing. If you're going to do your workout, make sure you press that blue start session button. You'd be surprised how many people actually miss that key element. So how to actually look ahead at your workout. So you're going to see on the calendar, the little blue, uh, the little dots underneath the calendar days, you can tap them, look ahead, swipe down, whatever it may be, have a better idea of what lies in store for you for that workout. Now, you can also look ahead by scrolling down, reading everything, but you're not going to see the videos, and that is okay. Um, typically, when you actually are doing an overview, you're not going to see the videos unless if you actually go inside the workout. So this is important though. I'm going to show you how you can access those videos so you know what to do without actually starting your session and having it log it for you. So let's say I wanted to look ahead at tomorrow's workout. I'm going to be out about, okay, but I don't want to actually start the session button. So how I would go ahead and look at what the videos are. Maybe I don't know what some of these exercises are. You would go ahead See for, let's say, the block B, the coordination and rhythm circuit. I'm going to go ahead, press the B, and it's going to show me the details, the exercises, and you'll see one video. And you might be wondering, why is there only one video when there's three exercises? Well, what you have to do is actually click that one video thumbnail, and then it will pop up all of those exercises. And if they have instructions, they'll be listed below. Press the back button, that will take you out of it. You can also swipe to see, you know, and click on the video if you want, all right, to see a little bit more details or press that down arrow. You can go back and scroll from the overview um, page. Now, one thing to note, if you're here, let's say, you know, you're in the beginning, okay? Block A, you swipe backwards, okay? That is going to be the sleep quality. Whenever you see the readiness survey, and if you press anything there, you're actually starting your session. So do not press this, okay? So press that down arrow up at the top left to come out of it, and then you can go to the day that you're actually working out, okay? So that is how you can actually view the exercise instructions, the videos ahead of your workout so you know how to prepare without actually starting your session. So again, big key thing, do not press that blue start session button unless if you are actually going to start your session. Also, do not press that readiness questionnaire if you're not going to be doing your session. So there you go. That is how you can look ahead at your workouts without actually starting your session.